Hey guys, it's Mr. Ruth, Cool Manier Nut, and I'm here with Jen Haley, the head judge of the Crystal Brush Finals, and Ben Comets, uh, and your piece was High Noon. It's yeah. A diorama. <laughs> Uh, clever name. Let's talk about uh, what was the inspiration for your piece and kind of just in general overview of what the piece was sure, about. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, I started just painting the, uh, one of the characters from the diorama, uh, the pirate orc. Mm -hmm. um, the, it's a, the orc captain of the Black Sailor team. And I liked the paint job quite a lot, so I thought, okay, the figure deserves a base. And from then on, <laughs> I tried to develop a story. So. It was like, okay, it could be a ship, it could be a harbor. Harbor is a bit boring, so, okay, he could stand in front of a house. A house, that would be, it would be great if he meet in front of a house, with the guy that lives in a house. Maybe he's not living there, maybe he's, he's owning like a restaurant or a den. Yeah, an opium den, <laughs> maybe it's a Chinese goblin. And I tried to, <coughs> yeah, with my pieces, I tried to tell stories. Yeah. Because I, I love the narrative uh, side of miniatures. Hmm. I think, especially for dioramas, but not only for dioramas, it's quite important to uh, have like a story in, in your mind and that try to get people to involve with your project. I think that's, that, that's definitely true of, uh, of, of the piece itself, is that it's evocative of a story. You kind of look at it, again, like they say, uh, you know, you know the mark of a good film when you don't need the dialogue to explain what's happening, right? Yeah. And it's very similar in this piece is that you see what's going on, you're going, ah, I know where this is, I, like geographically I can guess where this is taking <laughs> place in this world and I can see uh, all these little details that tell me what's kind of what the story is here, right? Yeah. And uh, it's definitely true with that. Now, how, uh, how long do you think it took you from, from start to finish? to get this thing painted up and uh, I know. This, see, this, the funny thing is they tell us this is what everybody wants to know and then when you yeah, ask yeah, the painters, yeah. they're like, oh man, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, yeah it's true. Uh, it's really hard to, to like put a number on how long you how long you knew uh, the, a piece like that. Uh, I knew that, I know that I've started around Christmas, but I've been doing a lot of different projects in between. Um, so yeah, on and off, uh, three months. Yeah, it's trust me. We've definitely heard longer. <laughs> and uh, so let's talk about some of the some of the details that you put in there that you think maybe you're particularly proud of, or some of the things that you wanted you wanted people to notice when they looked at it the first time. Yeah, I think uh, a project like that needs to work in on different levels, so to say. Uh, so it needs to work on a level like one and a half meters away. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, what's that? I have to, I have to explore it. I have to see it. So it needs to have like one money shot that works, so the the two main characters meeting in front of the, of the mm -hmm. in front of the den, um, and then it needs uh, like a second level when you go and want to explore the model, turn it around, mm -hmm. discover maybe the second story. That's why the, you have the, like the second story uh, on the back side. Mm -hmm. So it's a small hobgoblin carrying a bucket of charcoal up to the roof because there's a smoke uh, generator to because the, the, it's called White Moon Den with a uh, big moon uh, on, f uh, on the front uh, of an advertisement sign. Yeah. There's a smoke generator that actually works on the back of the... Oh, the really? Moon. Yeah. That's <laughs> quite good. That's quite good. So, yeah, I have like a small trace of charcoal from the front to the back that connects both sides. To draw the eye, basically. Yeah, to draw the eye and to, to, to have a, like, like a storytelling element. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he took the charcoal from the front and brought it back, brings it up on the roof. On the roof, you have like a, a lot of boxes uh, and a small like like a, a set uh, tea set, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. with tea balls and a, and a pot, so the goblins have their tea break up there, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you have like a small um, how do you call it? Tic not tic tac toe, yeah, uh, like that. Uh, tic tac toe. Is it tic tac toe? Yeah. yeah, you have like a small tic tac toe on the back of the roof uh, cool. of the of the sign. So goblins hang out up there. Uh, Play games. Yeah, f filling the smoke machine and playing games. That's awesome. So yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just incredible world creation then. I mean, where you've got this Thanks. idea. And you've created this kind of whole scene and, uh, and livelihood of these goblins, even just based on the idea that you're like, this guy's a, a, on a boat and then there might be a guy in a house. <laughs> it's a kind, of, kind of an incredible process to go from, yeah, from yeah, that yeah. to where you ended up to where you've got like, oh, and they'd have tic-tac-toe up there. And, uh, yeah. it, it, it's more like more, more or less like four dioramas in one, so I try to compose each scene so it works. Yeah. Uh, one scene by, by itself, but all together as well. That's really very clever, very clever. So, uh, Jen, from a judge's standpoint, Let's talk about some of the things that you felt uh, stood out and got garnered this uh, 
this piece with uh, the attention that it got. I, I think definitely that feeling of drawing the viewer in, it catches your eye and then the story engages you and you start looking and looking and looking and seeing more and more things and you just want to keep looking at it. Uh, the uh, technically uh, the execution was beautiful, uh, thanks, the color thanks. balance, the composition, uh, that's something that aids in drawing you into it. First you want to look at it and then you start noticing what's going on and it's a very skilled use of bringing the eye here and here and here yeah. so that you start following the plot, as it were. Uh, I actually want to go back and look at it some more. <laughs> <laughs> I have it in the box. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, let's, we always ask uh, everyone, uh, you think uh, you have any ideas for next year or coming back to Crystal Brush in the future, you have anything you might be working on or? I have, like, uh, my, my mind is just stuffed with things <laughs> that I, I would like to build. It's just the time that, that, of that it takes. So, yeah, I, I don't have any, any precise project for now, but, uh, yeah, my, my desk is always full. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, congratulations and excellent work again. Thanks a lot, Michael. Thank Th thanks a lot.